Hey everybody, welcome to Nation. My name is Jersey, and you are here. Welcome. If you're new to the show, what's going on? I'm Jersey, that's Tradman. Stay, watch some things, hang out, see if it doesn't suck, and if it doesn't, go back and watch, go back and watch some other episodes that may not suck also. So if you're new here, thanks for checking us out. This is going to be available on uh, iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, uh, YouTube and Facebook so comment thumbs up all the cliche stuff make sure that if you're watching this on YouTube you comment I'll explain why later give us a thumbs up that just says hey you did a good job if you're listening to this right now if you're working and listening to this in a podcast go in later into iTunes and give us a review on iTunes that would be amazing and an awesome high five Thanks either way for being here. If you are one of the nation, if you're somebody who hangs out every week with us, you watch, you listen, you do whatever, you always give us a thumbs up and you always comment, what is up? It's because of you I get to keep doing the show. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And finally, if you are one of the elite, the nation elite, that means that you watch every week, you thumbs up, you comment, you do it all, and you buy your supplies through me. Even better, man. And ma'am, what's going on? Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's because of you that I get to eat um, breakfast some days and dinner some days. So thank you very much for that. Uh, If you have any supplies that you need ordered, my direct number is 862-312-2026. You can shoot me a text. You can tell me my nose is crooked. You can buy stuff, questions, anything you want. That's my number. Now you have it. You have no excuses. So definitely do that. Whew. Okay, so today, um, if this is your first episode, by the way, I don't want this to turn you off from window cleaning. We kind of like window cleaning. It's kind of a thing for us, you know, but today we are talking about how window cleaning sucks. And with me today is the one, the only, the amazing Tradman. What's going on, man? Where, oh, me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> how you doing, buddy? I'm doing all right. How about yourself? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. And enduring some more blizzards. I thought oh. it disappeared and it's come back again. Really? So, oh, uh, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. So uh, if anybody's watching this who doesn't watch my channel, I'm doing a fundraiser at the moment where I'm wearing a Scottish kilt, which I planned to wear this March at the beginning to help a nice disabled lady and thinking the weather was going to be nice. You know, I was yeah. trying to be clever. You're trying to cheat the system. uh, I get it. I get it. A little bit, a little (laughs) bit. And yeah, it really screwed me over. So a blizzard came in. It's the worst winter we've had in a long time, minus conditions. And yeah, to the point today, I couldn't even feel my jaw. I I was moving my mouth, and it's like when you go to the dentist. Yeah, yeah. I don't feel my mouth anymore. So (laughs) that's pretty cold. I'm not going to tell you that it's 70 out here because that would be mean of me to tell you. So, and I'm not going to show you that I'm yeah. wearing short sleeves because that would be mean. I'm not. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> no. So I hate you slightly. <laughs> I know. I know. I have to put it in. That's why I moved uh, from cold climates where we were. I mean, yeah. you know, our temperatures. By the way, we would have spurts the last three years negative yep. 55 Fahrenheit. That's what oh, we would right. have. So you think of negative Celsius is like. 32 mm. degrees for us you know that's yeah pretty cold but anyway that's why i moved so that's why yeah I yeah moved. good good move yeah, yeah. <laughs> so for anybody <laughs> who like... doesn't know you you mentioned your channel but tell us a little bit about yourself who are you yeah. why are you here all that yeah who am i why am i here Ooh, uh, these are questions i always struggle <laughs> with every day <laughs> you should, have, should have prepped before the before the show i don't i don't know what this yeah. is yeah uh no uh, well i'm trad man uh, i've got a youtube channel it's all about window cleaning so if you're into that kind of thing you're in the right place so uh, <laughs> head on over there and it's all basically about sort of tool reviews hints tips techniques uh and you know trying to make a occasional cinematic sort of video you know with nice music and flashing scenes and all that kind of yeah, stuff yeah. so all good nice so yeah it's that kind of thing so if you like window cleaning head on over nice Probably. and you you also do videos for window cleaning resource on our, ch- do, our page yes what goes on yes. over there yeah so um working with the lovely folk at window cleaning resource i don't know if you know them at all no i've but, heard of them uh, i heard they're good people yeah yeah they're all they're all right you know they're some all right. of them are but, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no they're really really lovely to work with so uh what it is we work with a few others as well in uh, creating really interesting content for the window cleaning industry with a goal to basically help people yeah. um whether it's reviews or techniques or could be anything so Window Cleaning Resource have literally just said, you know, all you guys that are, you know, already producing content, 
uh, would you mind creating some content for us that's going to benefit uh, you know a really nice wide audience so nice. working with them and trying to create good content so yeah so nice. very privileged to be part of the team yeah yeah <laughs> and now I hear you have a giveaway going on here what next yes. week Yes, yes, indeed. Nice. So I won't give too, too much away because they'll have to stay tuned to Window Cleaning Resource. That'll be coming up soon. But yes, so we're going to be giving away not just one, but quite a few things oh, in a large nice. bundle. Oh. So uh, yes, but we won't give you too much. We'll just leave it as a, wee, a little teaser. Come back uh, nice. very shortly on the Window Cleaning Resource channel and you'll find out all about it. Nice, so, nice. Yes. Very cool. So, well, good. how long have you been window cleaning in general? How, how long has it been for you? <laughs> yeah, about maybe 10, 11 years, um, wow. but not all of that was self-employed. Um, yeah. This is my fourth year, I think, um, of being self-employed. The rest of the time I was working for a very large company. Yeah. Um, you know, we're doing all sorts of things from residential to large commercial, all sorts of stuff. So uh, basically I got my training from them and then when I felt confident enough to start up myself, that's that's what I did. Nice. So, so yeah. you you look like you're 17, but that's not the case then. If you've been working for so no. long, you got to be like 18 by now. <laughs> yeah, it's just because the camera's not showing the wrinkles. That's, that's what like, it is. Yeah, but it's even worse. If I have no beard, I look about 12. Do you? So oh, nice, worse. nice. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, it's great because if I'm in the shops and I'm trying to buy something that you need ID for, I don't need ID if I have this. You see? <laughs> yeah, they, so they look at it and they go, oh, "No, you're good. You're good." <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, <laughs> yes, no. I'm, so am I allowed to tell my age? Yes, yeah, yeah. I suppose I can. I think, what am I, 27? <laughs> Man, 27, so, that's... Yeah, got, should have a few more miles left on the clock. Hopefully. Yeah, a couple more, a couple more, we'll yeah, see. hopefully. <laughs> well, today we're talking about sucky things in window cleaning. You've been in the game yeah. long enough. Uh, I've been in the game yep. long enough to know what sucks, and everybody watching and listening, you're going to know what sucks too. And I want you, this is the interactive show, I want you to comment anywhere you can, and let me know what sucks for you. If you've experienced any of this stuff, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. We thought this would be a fun topic for everyone to join in, tell us all their funny stories. And so we've got a few things noted down here that we're going to maybe fire off today. And, you know, you can maybe you guys out there that are watching relate to these things. Tell us your stories. It'd be a, it'd be a good laugh. Yeah. So, uh, and when know. we when we prepped for this show, just talked about it real quick, some of the things were yep. the same on our list too. So there's yeah, sure. going to be the same on somebody <laughs> else's list too. Yeah. Yeah. It's an international aggravation that we both share. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, so it's, it's, yeah. And I'm going to start it off here and I don't even know if this is a problem for you because you are in Scotland. So there could be whole different <laughs> herds of things, but First for me on the list is wasps and bees. Do you deal with yeah. a lot of that? Um, we do. Uh, obviously, during the summer months, it can be yeah. an issue. And I find it's worse if I've got my high visibility vest on. Really? For some reason, they oh. chase me. Stupid um, wasps. So a little bit, especially when you're up a ladder. That yeah. sucks big style. You know, you've got a wasp. And I, to be honest, I'm not one of those people that I can just kind of let a wasp or a bee come near my face and go, oh, it's fine. I'm, I'm not bothered. It's fine. You yeah. know, I'll let you like, I am going to kill you if you come anywhere near my face. Yeah. And then you spend the next five minutes waiting to smack the thing, right? For sure. Oh. For sure. And the customer's looking out their window going, what is he doing? Uh, yeah. There's nothing worse. <laughs> There's nothing worse than having your ladder up on a gutter line or even under something yeah. and it moves something and you see them start flying and you're already up there. Yep. You're stuck. Stupid wasps. Are... Yeah. See, here's the difference oh. between bees and wasps too. Bees make honey. Wasps don't do anything. They just, They're just are evil. angry They're evil. and stab you. Yeah. <laughs> they are. Well, I remember, um, was it last summer? I climbed up to the top of my ladder to, uh, to clean some windows and they'd made a, must have been a nest in the building, but there was a hole underneath the gutter. Oh. So when I went up to the window, it must have startled them, and they all came flooding out of the hole. So I'm like, I'm about maybe 20-odd feet up in the air on this ladder with a swarm of wasps. I'm like, I am going to die. This yeah. is it. This is the end. And I'm thinking, and I don't even have my camera on. At least I could have caught it on YouTube, and I would have got some views, you know? At, at least but, when you uh, fall no. to your, uh, <laughs> your, your death, then people would know what happened. They're like, oh, you just must have exactly, fell. But, but... Exactly. The demise of Tradman. I probably would have got a million hits for that. Yeah, know? no kidding. But... No kidding. <laughs> next, next time. But no, next time. Yeah, I'll try next time, yeah. But, yeah, so, no, I totally agree with you there. Bees and wasps, especially wasps not my favorite so yeah, yeah definitely <laughs> yeah. what do you got first on your list so yeah on my list uh, we've got working in the bad weather 
Um, so that is definitely one on on my list, yeah. especially when it's freezing cold. Um, this time of year is is tough. You know, this is the time of year where it really tests people. You know, yeah. it'll really test whether they're what we describe as fair weather window cleaning. Yeah, um, if they're in it for the long know, haul or not. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Um, which, you know, it, you can, you know, wear as many clothes as you want, but sometimes, I mean, I'm, I'm all wrapped up. I've got my hats on. I've got gloves on. This is before I was wearing the kilt, uh, <laughs> and I was still cold, still cold. And you just think, well, you know, if I don't work, then one, I'm not going to get paid, uh, yeah. and two, obviously, I'm going to fall behind with the customers, mm-hmm. so I'm not going to be that regular, reliable window cleaner anymore. Yeah. Um. So you kind of just have to go out no matter what, you know. Yeah. Well, uh, um, in Wisconsin, we cleaned until our solution froze, so that negative twenty yes. with wind chills, kind of the I, the max. But here, it, the town shuts down for no reason. So I think like yep. different regions, you could get away with different things. But the weather sucks. Yeah. The feeling of your hands as you're dipping them in the oh, water right. and trying to like stay warm with gloves yeah. are too big. So you can't wear like some gloves. It, it's yeah. awful. This is it's it. Awful. This is it. And I mean, I don't know. I mean, obviously, the, the type of jobs you guys do, especially houses, I think you tend to be at a house a bit longer than we are. Yeah. Um. So we're constantly in and out the van all the time. So you know, you've done a job for 20, 30 minutes and then you get back into a nice warm van. You think, oh, that's better. And then you get back out the van again. You never you get go, acclimated. Oh, no, get out, you know? uh, so it's, you know, you lose the feeling in your hands and then you get the pins and needles and, you know, that that feeling mm-hmm. comes back to your hands. You think, oh, and then you back out into the cold again. You're like, oh, well, here we go again. You know, <laughs> it's, this is my life right now. Yeah, uh, this is it. So like today, um, as I was telling you earlier today, it was so cold. This is quite rare, actually, that uh i mean this beer does not help me my jaw froze <laughs> i could not uh, feel anything so maybe it was a good thing i couldn't talk much so maybe <laughs> some people that was a blessing to some people you were getting but tips yeah. today you didn't know why yeah this is it this is it they're like oh you, you were quiet today here have an extra five pounds you know so uh but yeah so no yeah the cold weather sucks uh, so yeah roll on spring and summer can't wait yeah you brilliant. you people in like southern florida and california mm. who get to work all year round and wear shorts we yeah, all, we don't want to know. We don't want to yeah. know about it. <laughs> Stay off of YouTube, you know? Yeah, yeah. All these videos of you working in the sunshine, you suck. <laughs> it's, it's, it doesn't uh, help any. It doesn't help any. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. This is it. Well, that's why I wanted to post a few videos recently of me working in bad weather because I got a lot of comments of people saying, well, actually, well, I took a few days off or the week off because of that weather and you're working in it through a, in a blizzard, yeah. in a kilt. So I was actually getting some guys in trouble because oh, their, yeah. their other half, their wife would watch the video. And they would like, think, you could be. He's out in the blizzard. <laughs> Get your butt out there, you know. I'm getting these messages going, will you stop working in bad weather? You know? stop, stop videoing <laughs> it at least. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, whoops. Never thought of that. Yeah. But, uh, well, yeah well, my, so that's definitely on the list. Yeah, yeah. My, my number two on the list is old people that follow you around. Now, you may not know oh, yeah. a lot of this because you work on the outside, <laughs> But there yeah, are yeah. people who will follow you and stare over your shoulder for all two yeah. to four hours of you being in this house. It drives yeah. me crazy. Yeah, I've had that. I have had that before. And um, the company I used to work for, we did do a lot of internals, and um, yeah, it was slightly annoying. I think I don't know if they weren't confident that you know you weren't going to maybe take something or break something. I don't know, but um, yeah, certainly it was a bit sort of like. Um, I am going to clean the window. I'm not going to nick your, your vase or anything. Yeah, you know, you, yeah. it's okay. <laughs> See, we still have some of the older. So we had um, on our cruise, we ended up hiring yeah. a Mexican guy. who was an awesome mm. guy. Uh, super trustworthy. Worked for us for years. But I kid you not, yep. every job I was on, he would get followed by the old people. It just was, it, it oh. was him. It was like that weird. So I feel for any of you yeah. out there that have any type of ethnicity to you, the old people, yeah. they're all over you, just all up in your grill, just yeah. not letting you work. It's annoying. Yeah. Oh, it's bad, isn't it? You know, Ugh. it's, uh, I mean, I've been to jobs before where, you know, they knew me and they knew, <clears throat> excuse me, that I've been to the job a few times and they know I'm trustworthy. They know I just come to clean the windows and they still follow you around. It's just like, have we not built up some trust here? Come yeah. on. <laughs> yeah, I, I get the whole wanting to talk, though, you know, the whole time. You're maybe lonely. Sure. I could see that. But not all yeah, of them. I'm yeah. pretty sure when you just stand around yeah. or, or you're doing something in the same room, you know, and not talking, I know why you're there. Yeah. You're just spying yeah. on me. 
Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Um, and I don't know for for you, it's probably exactly the same. But I mean, um, if they're telling you about maybe their ailments, or you know, if maybe they're going for an operation, or yeah. they're taking this, that, and the other pill. Um, you know, it's it, you try and obviously sound like you're empathetic, that right. you're interested. Um, but at the same time, you're like, well, I do have a job to do right now, but I don't want to be nasty to you. I, yeah. I don't want to say like, who cares that you're taking 50 pills a day? I've got windows to clean. You yeah, know? But yeah. You don't want to do that. But at the same time, you, you, you want to, but you don't. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. You feel a bit sort of like, I really need to get going right now. Yep. <laughs> you know, they're like, oh, I got diagnosed with this or that or the other. And you're like, oh, no. What do you say? You know, I got to diagnose uh, some windows right now. So if you could. Yeah. Stop yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I totally relate to that one as well. I've had that quite a few times. So. Yeah. Even with this trustworthy face, they still follow me around. It's weird. It's Go weird. Figure. <laughs> no. <laughs> what do you got yeah, on your? Uh, so what do you got on your number two? Next one. See everyone, I'm all organized. I know. Today. I, I know. That. That's nice. So, yeah. So this is one that probably a lot of guys will relate to, and it's customers that don't pay on time. Oh. Now, this is, you know, not every guy has a set payment period, but I mean, over here we allow up to it's 14 days. We allow. Um, so some guys it's a week. I've heard of some guys on the forum say it's like three days. Um, other guys will allow a month or even sometimes two months. Um, so we just thought, well, 14 days we felt was a nice happy medium where we felt that's enough time to, you know, get online and make the payments or, you know, if they're going down to their local bank or whatever they're going to do to pay it. We felt two weeks is ample time um to to pay a bill. Yeah. Um, you know, so, but even then sometimes people can stretch it. You know, they'll they'll go to three weeks, they'll go to four weeks, they'll go to five. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's not nice having to phone them up and, you know, kind of, it's not the nice part of the job having to say, um, would you mind paying your bills? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then you, yeah. they want to continue service and you're like, well, you owe yes. me. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Keep cleaning That's because like, then you'll never pay me or what do we do here? Yeah. This uh, is it. This is it. And you've wor- got to always be polite. And, you know, I think that's why I take my hat off to you guys over in the States. You're customer service is probably a lot lot better than ours um especially here in scotland we're quite direct <laughs> yeah um, so you know i've noticed because i've noticed obviously getting to know yourself and luke and various other guys that you know you guys are capable of being so nice <laughs> <laughs> it's all a facade it's all a facade uh, is it oh okay uh, okay but Just for uh, you. yeah it's, it's tricky you know when someone's maybe been due you for quite a while and you've really gone that extra mile to give them a really great service yeah and they're really just you know, testing you to see, you know, or maybe it's genuine. Maybe we've maybe just forgotten and it's been, the bill's been left on the side or, you know, but the same token, you know, if you do that to electricity board, they switch your electricity off. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Right. The worst ones for me is when you have that giant, like the largest job that we ever uh, did, the people were like, um, Oh uh, yeah, we switched. We're at 90 days to pay now. 90 days. You are like days. a billion dollar company. Why are you not paying yeah. me my, my money now? I'm not a billion dollar company. I'm pretty sure you got exactly. the money. Exactly. You know, yeah. especially for guys, um, you know, if there's guys watching that are quite new to the trade, uh, you know, you've maybe not come from a lot of money. You need that money and that cash flow to come in quite regularly. Oh, yeah. Your, your bills don't stop. I mean, most people's bills are coming off on a weekly or monthly basis. So, you know, you need that cash flow. Yeah. We always, um, so we always. People, I yeah, was going to say, I always say to people, I say, just because you don't pay your bills in time doesn't mean I still don't pay my bills on time. Exactly. <laughs> we need exactly, that money. You know? So, but how do you politely put that across to a customer that, you know, uh, come on, pay, pay your bills. I've got, you know, yeah. food to put on the table and the lights to pay for, you know? <laughs> how, how I literally will say it when I do my first call. I'll be like, oh, hey, I'm just calling. Yeah. Uh, we haven't gotten payment yet, so I just want to make sure you got the bill. Um, it's yeah. no rush. I'm just saying, you know, I want to make sure you, and sometimes they're like, Oh my gosh, I forgot all about it. Or they will yeah. say, no, yeah. they didn't get it. And then we can send it out. But it's at least like a, a, a coy way of being like, you didn't pay. Yes. So yeah, yeah, you can, yeah, that's kind of what, what I try the first time. But if somebody has been, you're continually phoning them, like they're still not paying, yeah. they're still not paying. It is very difficult as well. A lot of guys probably identify with this when you phone them for the half dozenth time and you're just like, just pay your bill. Just, just pay your bill. Do it. Come on. Just, just do <laughs> just, it now. This is annoying. You're not even. Yeah. 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 Especially when it's quite small amounts as well, because it's just done. It's more the principle of it oh, yeah. as well. Because you're just like, you know, I can live without that. It's not a big, you know, yeah. big thing. But it's more the principle. You put your hard-earned sort of time and energy into that job, 
And, you know, there's still people that will just be like, eh, it's just a window cleaner. Yep. You know? Yep. <laughs> So well, yeah, that's definitely a pet hate of mine as well. Yes, so. <laughs> yes. My my number three on my list is uh, overloaded with tchotchkes. So you know what a tchotchke is? That's like the crap people put on their windowsills. You know, there's like a porcelain oh, dog okay. and a porcelain baby. Yes, and like, yes. When you yeah. go into houses and that is their hobby, it drives me yeah. crazy. Because you're trying to clean the windows and yep. you got to move a thousand things. And if one <laughs> of those things gets put back in the wrong spot, they're going to tell you oh, about yeah. it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, or it's, it's, you think it's so expensive, and you're just like, don't drop it, don't drop it, please don't drop it, yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what this weird porcelain baby clown thing is, but I know if yeah, I break exactly. it, they're going to be like, oh, that was $1,000. Yeah. yeah, well, you see these sort of creepy ornaments, you're like, are you a serial killer? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, am I going to get out of here? Why but, are you uh, collecting? Why are you displaying yeah. that? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So you're just like, oh well, I still better not break it anyway, you know. Otherwise, they really will come come yeah. for me. You know? But yeah, we get the same thing here. And what I tried to do was um, this new software that we're using for our company. We can um, set up like automated like text or email reminders and things like that. So nice. it sends it out to them, and I can kind of um, amend them. Yeah. So I can say to them like, oh, you know, if it's a customer that um, you know they have a lot of ornaments inside, I can amend that message to say, you know, um, we're coming tomorrow. Uh, would you mind clearing all the windowsills and all that kind of thing, you know? Take, take all um, your weird porcelain baby clowns down. Yeah, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. And your pictures of people that you probably don't even know, you know? Yeah. I've got yeah. some customers, I've got, like, like so many pictures of, like, famous people. It's, like, obviously an obsession of theirs. Yeah. Like, in, in actual frames and everything. I'm like, oh, if I touch this, are you going to go crazy on oh, me? Yeah, <laughs> <It's> yeah. Like... <laughs> My grandma had a really good sense of humor. It was funny yeah. kind of dark humor but one of the things she had was this picture tower and it sat at one side of the entire picture tower were all stock photos and she didn't change them on purpose because people would come in like one guy was on a horse and people would yeah. come in and like start talking about the pictures to her you know yeah and that was yeah. just her funny so maybe some people have like just a stock photo that they got with the picture frame still up yeah yeah well i i have to say i'm guilty of that for a little <laughs> while we bought we bought a picture frame for our wall and it was just this obviously random family that they'd used when they were they put photos in these frames to sell them. And it took us months to actually take that thing off the wall and just put our own pictures in it. Yeah, we're yeah. like, no, that family looks better than us, so we'll just leave them there. See, and then they just people think you know really nice people, but they're not. Yeah, you know, this is it. It's like, no, no, that's not. We don't know them. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> nice. but yeah we've got the same same thing as well so slightly annoying yes. as well yeah. yeah even when you've reminded them and they still don't move it you arrive and you think oh come on i told you just last night <laughs> yeah that'll yeah. add an extra like 10 minutes of window trying to this pull is it off. this is it and you try and maybe add that onto the price you say well i know i said it was this price but actually it's going to be an extra five ten whatever yeah. dollars pounds and uh, they'll be oh what's that for i'm like because i had to move 50 ornaments <laughs> yeah that you didn't when i told you to exactly well, just go but, around you know, them. would you no. get away with that yeah no, no. probably not no <laughs> so but yeah definitely agree with that one so um yeah we'll have to get on top of that one yeah um yes yeah, so where are we on to um customers that complain about you leaving a mark on the windows and you return to do the job and fix it for them obviously because we're lovely service people in that way right right. and yeah and you find out the marks on the inside inside always in the inside. All the way there <laughs> you know what it is it's the farthest people they know that they're so far away from you too they're like oh yeah you had to yeah. drive like 45 minutes to get here uh, yeah. i'm the one with the mark yeah yeah exactly exactly and how do you then say to them well you know it's kind of your fault i'm here right now and you've wasted yeah. 45 minutes here 45 minutes back yeah you know so i should charge you for that time oh. you know I always say to people um, when they call, I say, well, can you go up to the window and put the back of your fingernail against the window and see if it's on the end? Oh, it's on the outside. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. Not on the outside, yeah I bet you it's not. Yeah. No. <laughs> you know, you know, it's not. You yeah. Know? Uh, well, we had that once and I kid you not. Um, the job was actually, just as you said, it was round about three quarters of an hour away and the customer had phoned up. Now, this fortunately was for the company I used to work for. So I wasn't overly too bothered about burning some time right, in the right. van to get there and back. I'm like, well, I'm getting paid by the hour. So, hey, ho. But, um, you know, for obviously for the boss, it would have been annoying. But anyway, we turn up to the job and the customer's like, yeah, yeah, there's there's a bird's mess on the windows. Um, I need you to, you know, you, how could you miss a bird's mess? And we're thinking, okay. And you I know birds do that all the time. Mess. Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty big normally as well. So, you know, <laughs> we'll, we'll have a look. And it was on the conservatory windows and it was on the inside. Somehow a bird had got into our conservatory, 
left its deposit on the inside of the conservatory, somehow got out without the customer knowing, and the customer didn't even go up to the window to have a look. She just looked at it from a distance and went, yeah. oh, that's on the outside. Window cleaners, get your butt uh, back here, you know? <laughs> well, in her defense, not to defend her, yeah. I would have thought that the poop would run on the outside too. Like you I would generally imagined, you would, know. I suppose, but yeah. But you think if you're, it's your own conservatory, you would think, that actually looks a bit lumpy on the inside, you know? <laughs> I've seen that one there for a while because it's been there for a while. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so that, yeah, that, was, that was a bit of an annoying one. But, you know, what can you do? You, yeah. you, you have to go back and keep them happy and you make it right. at least have looked at it and... You know, uh, but it's always a difficult one. If, like you say, if you've travelled quite a distance, then how do you go about sort of saying, "Well, you've kind of wasted almost two hours of my time." You know, yeah. <laughs> that's there's, a lot of money. There's a cost of doing business, unfortunately, sometimes, and that's one of yeah, them. Sure. Yeah, sure. You know, we should maybe come up with a waiver that customers sign that say, "You know, if you call me back and there's nothing yeah. to fix, you know, <laughs> this, then you is, owe this me. is the price." You know, then they're gonna go over uh, there and then lick the window just to make a mark. Like, oh, yeah, it's there. True, I don't know. True. <laughs> That's true. I know. How do you get around that one? Yeah, right. Somebody comment in the box below if you have a great idea. That'd so. be amazing. If you get called back and you get to charge for that, tell us, please tell us how you got yeah. to charge for that. Sure, there will be someone commenting away got I got three hundred pounds for call outs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that would be amazing. Just tell me the secret. Yeah. I would love to know. Exactly. Teach us. Teach yeah. us. Yeah. Well my next right, one is you. Yeah, my next one is one that we actually both had on ours mm. in, 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 in forms. And that is the yep. water fed pole slash traditional argument. Mm. Like oh, yeah. why yeah. people get so angry about the <laughs> tools. I there's never yeah. and I, I may see it even maybe more than mm. you do, but people will yep. argue you tooth and feel like, oh you're not a real window cleaner if you use water fed. Like what yeah. other tool does anybody use that people hate on? I don't I don't get it. I don't know. Yeah, this is it. It's it's almost like if you liken it to any other trade, if you had like a manual you know, screwdriver and a battery powered <laughs> one. Would you argue about it? It's like, yeah. well, no, sometimes you need the battery one if you're doing a lot of screws you want to put in. Yeah. Or if you're wanting to do tighten something by hand so you don't crack a bit of wood or something, then you use the hand tool. Yeah. It's just like use the right tool for the job. So it's the same with the window cleaning, but yeah, people get uh, so, so hyper about angry. it. Angry. And yeah, I, I admire the passion. But, well, yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. It seems like wasted passion when it comes down to it. Yeah, but true, I, true. I tell people, um, so Luke is a huge proprietary. I know you are. But the accelerator, I just personally am not a fan. And I tell people that when they yeah. call and ask yep. about it. I say, it is super common. I personally don't dig it. Because yep. I just, yep. I didn't learn it. I just, it frustrates me that I'm not as awesome as the guys on TV, right? But I don't ever get in an argument with somebody when they're like the accelerator. Yeah. I don't get out like you idiot. I can't believe you. It's just I can't. I can't yeah. fathom that. If, I if, know this is it. It's it, it's pointless. Yeah, um, it, you know, you, people should just use what they're comfortable with. I mean, if people watch my videos, they'll see that I, I do encourage people um, to use the Mormon tools, but I'll also explain why. But right. I won't ever say to them. You know, um, if you use an etere or an unger, you're you're an idiot. You yeah. know, <laughs> so I yeah. wouldn't say that because yeah. I'm just well, you know, please yourself. You know, use whatever you want. But um, you know, so it's it is. It's like you said, it's wasted effort, wasted passion, wasted time to argue about it. It's just use the appropriate tool for the right job. It's it's yeah. quite as simple as that. You know. <laughs> and I would love to. I always thought about having an episode where I talked to a troll, like I just interviewed a troll yeah, yeah. to find out what's going on. But if you are one of those people yeah. who gets super angry and passionate mm. over the water fit thing and you hate it so much, please mm. put it comment. Tell me why you hate it so much. I just I want yeah. to know why people get so passionate about it. It's, it's yeah. one of those things. I think I'll a lot of those things is, um, I don't know if it's maybe traditional guys that have done it for so long and yeah. they've got, I don't know if it's like a phobia of water fed pole or maybe they just don't fully understand it. Um, cause I know like with, with my father, well use my own father as a, a for instance, cause then I won't get in trouble then, um, <laughs> <laughs> not naming anyone else. Right. So, um, you know, he has been traditional for 34 years and all he's ever heard about water fed pole in our area anyway is complaints yeah. um, because people weren't using it correctly and didn't understand it. Um, so when I got a water fed pole, he was like, well, why are you buying that? You're just going to get complaints. So I had to explain to him how it works. And if you use it properly, it's absolutely fine. Yeah. Um, and now he's he's absolutely fine with it. He would yeah. maybe even consider one day getting him himself. I don't wow. know. Um, but, and that's, you know, it just, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm saying then that's the, that's the thing with um, the passion that I don't get is mm. because everybody who is so passionate against it has never owned one. Like they don't have yes. one. Yeah. So, and it's yeah, just like sure. if I handed, everybody always says, uh, 
Uh, there's a guy that always comments that, you know, people like us, they say it's so easy to be a window cleaner. But if I walked up to some strange person that's never touched a window clean, you know, window cleaning equipment, I gave them a scrubber and a squeegee and said, here you go, clean that window. They're going to mm-hmm. take 45 minutes to do one window and they're going to do a horrible yep. job on it, right? It's the same sure. thing with water fed. Like if you just yep. hand it to yep. somebody, they don't know what they're doing. They're going to do a crappy job. It doesn't mean that the well, product's it. bad. It means exactly. that the person doesn't know what they're doing. Exactly. Well, I had this exact same thing. I did a, a live chat. Um, it was about maybe two months ago, and it was about water-fed pole versus traditional kind of thing. Yeah. So and the reason I named it that was because I wanted people with those views, those ingrained views of water-fed pole <laughs> or traditional, they're the best. That's the best. Yeah. I wanted them to watch it so then I could then explain to them why neither or is bad. They're both good. Yeah. You know, if they're used correctly. And like you say, if you you know, don't use traditional tools correctly, you'll leave streaks and smears and all sorts of stuff. Oh, yeah. Um, same with water-fed pole. If you don't maybe wash things in the correct order or, you know, um, there was a guy I watched the other day cleaning windows, very professional setup, had the latest ionic systems, um, you know, hose reels, massive. Uh, it was a Renault Master long wheelbase van, proper professional looking. Yeah. But he couldn't clean the windows to save his life. You know, he put the cones out, Hi Viz, everything was like, oh, this guy's this guy's the biz, you yeah. know, because uh, this was actually at a distillery. I was I was on a tour, you see, at the time at a right. local whiskey distillery. I was nice. on a day off, right, right, right. And the window cleaner came in, you see, and he's washing the windows and he just scrubbed them and didn't rinse anything. And I'm thinking it's guys like you that are giving the water fed pole a bad name, yeah. you know, because yeah. the rinse is one of the most important parts. Right. You've got to agitate the dirt, rinse everything off from top to bottom, you know. And this guy was just going uh next uh yeah. next uh, ne- you know i'm just thinking oh you've got all the gear but you haven't got the knowledge right you know so that's that's the thing it's the same with water fed or trad oh so, yeah you know yeah knowledge is key yep <laughs> and that really uh, brings us to our last kind of uh hmm. why we hate what what we hate about window cleaning and again yeah. this is the both for both of us hmm. tell everybody what it is and we have the exact same one yeah, everyone's going to relate to this, probably, mm-hmm. is dog or cat's mess in gardens. Um, oh, my goodness. It's so annoying. I've been to, like, uh, I, believe this or not, I do this on quotes. If somebody's garden is covered in what well, I call them the landmines, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. if they're covered in those things, um, I will say on the quote sheet, uh, this is your quote. We're happy to do it. But your garden needs to be free from these deposits wow. before we will you know, continue with the service because I'm thinking, well, if I have to use a water fed pole, I do not want that stuff on my hose. Yeah. Um, and if I'm using ladders or anything and I accidentally step in something and undesirable, I am not traipsing that up my ladder. <laughs> this is the worst thing that could possibly happen is you move a yeah. ladder, you set it down, you start climbing back up and you see yeah. on the ladder rungs, oh, you're going, oh, well, my you God. Think, what is that? You know, you're... Oh, it's uh, on my ladder. <laughs> yeah, we've been in yards that are so bad. I swear to you, it's been a year yeah. since they picked them up. Why would you not? We're trying to walk ladders. Yeah. You're carrying a ladder, trying to look down. Oh. Yeah, I know. This is it. And I'll tell you one thing. When I used to work for a company, this is kind of how brutal we are in Scotland to our customers sometimes. <laughs> the guy I was working with, who um, he was like my supervisor, we'll put it that way. Uh, and the customer would never clean up their dog's mess. They always left it in the garden. So... My supervisor got a bit sick of it, right? So he went up to me, he says, what do you do for a job? And the guy said, well, I, I work in an office, you know? And yeah. the guy says, right. He says, well, if I put little bits of dog turd on individual keys, not all of them, but just some of them dotted around your keyboard and you had to dodge them while you were working, how would you feel? You know? <laughs> oh, my God. I wish I'm we could do that. Going, here. I know. I'm sitting in the van going, get in <laughs> i'm thinking at least you're the supervisor i'm not getting in trouble for this you know? yeah right no kidding but, uh yeah but the customer came back with oh actually you've got a good point i'm really sorry you know he's wow. just like well you know we're using water fed pole hoses and you know how much time it takes to try and pull it around individual landmines uh, and you know you think oh i need a little bit more hose i'm not quite got enough so you, you know, everybody just yanks oh, yeah. the hose you know you think Oh no, my hose just went through the biggest landmine I've ever seen. Oh, I've got to clean that off, you know. That's awful. Um, but so yeah. Oh, I get it. Okay. If you're watching and you have a better poo story, tell us. We want to hear it. <laughs> and I want to know what you guys would rate your worst yeah. experiences. What you hate about window cleaning. List it mm. down below. If you're on YouTube, put it there. We want to see it. We want to comment and. Yeah. 
let's let's talk about what we hate <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah and the thing is as you probably noticed one of these things you think oh i love window cleaning and then as i said to you i started writing down what i didn't like and i think do i actually like window cleaning yeah. anymore i've got two pages of stuff that i don't like why do i have so many things <laughs> what is going on yeah yeah it's like oh dear but uh yeah so these are i mean in any job you're gonna have things that you you know that come up that you don't like and enjoy so it'd be nice to hear people's comments and uh different funny stories that they've had so yeah. that'd be great yeah Definitely. Well, either way, I appreciate you um, coming to check it out. You listening, you watching. Uh, Tradman, tell us again about your channel and what you got coming up. Cool. Um, yeah, so again, guys, the Tradman channel, it's all about window cleaning. So if you enjoy window cleaning, uh, mainly it's about traditional window cleaning, but we do show water-fed pole work as well. Uh, so it's all about that, hints, tips, reviews, all that kind of stuff. But coming up soon, this is going to be on the window cleaning resource channel, remember. We're going to be doing a giveaway. So it's going to be a, not just one item, but it's going to be quite a few items. Nice, so uh, nice. nice big giveaway. It's going to be the treasure chest Ooh, of giveaways. I like that. So, I yeah, so everyone has to stay tuned. So. And if you haven't <laughs> subscribed to Tradman's channel yet, go do that right now. This episode's done. Watch the next one. Go subscribe right now to Tradman. Uh, that would make his day, and it would be a personal favor to me. And yes. either way, <laughs> like I always say, if you need anything supply-wise, you have questions, or you just want to say, what's up, I watched the show. I just sent a, a, a letter off to Australia today. Somebody watched the show because we can't ship to Australia. but um, So that was very cool. Just let me know. It's 862-312-2026. And until next week, go ahead and go out there and be epic. And thanks for checking us out.